Yeah the emulator where you play numerous Android games, like PUBG, Free Fire, Call of Duty Mobile. Most of the games are competitive, and you really need the best FPS to perform your best in the game. So hey how's it going buddies, it's Rex, and welcome to a brand new video. Today Fierce Rex presents A simple FPS boost guide to get the best performance out of game loop. But before starting At first, double check if you have any update available for game loop, as sometimes updates significantly fixes bugs and stutters. So to do that, just open your game loop. And then from the three stripes from here, you get the update check option. I already have the updated one. For the next step, open your gamma loops location. Go to App Markets Properties. Compatibility. Tick this option and choose Windows 7. And check these options as well. Hit Apply. Now go back one folder by clicking here. Now open UI. Here do the same with the Android emulator. Now open the shader cache folder. Here are all the cache files. Select all with Ctrl plus A. And permanently delete them with Shift plus Delete. Now copy this location. Open Settings. Search for Graphics Settings. Hit Browse. Here paste the location. Hit Enter. Select Android Emulator and hit Add. Go to Options. Select High Performance. Save it and tick this option. Now open Run using the Windows Plus R command. Type out msconfig. In the Boot tab, go to Advanced Option. Check the Number of Processor option and select the highest number here. These number represents the number of your PC cores. Make sure your all the cores are active. Then hit OK, hit Apply and exit it. Restart now and continue after the restart. Go to your Game Loop Settings. Check these two options. Now in the Engine tab, you can uncheck these two options. Just make sure to check this if you have an external graphics card, but if you're using the built-in graphics like Intel's one, just uncheck this. And keep this one checked. Now you have to try both of the options here, DirectX and OpenGL, to find out which one performs better for you. Now anti-aliasing to off. Memory to maximum. Processor to maximum as well. The lower the resolution, the better the performance. The DPI doesn't matter. 
so you can use custom resolution as well. I'm gonna go with 800 into 600. Leave the model as it is. Game definition to SD. Graphics quality to smooth. And FPS to maximum. But if you play Free Fire, put 60 here and also turn on the V-Sync, as Free Fire won't give you more than 60 FPS. Save it. And jump into a game. In any game try to use the lowest settings possible. Now, an extra tip for you. Gonna put an optimization pack link in the description. Where you'll find a registry tweak, memory reduct, and timer resolution. Download the pack. Here is the pack. Extract the zip. Run the registry file. Now install memory reduct. So here is memory reduct. Open task manager to see how it works. Hit clean memory. And see how quickly it reduces the weight on your machine's memory. Whenever you exit it, it will be in the tray so you can use it whenever you feel your computer is overloaded. And for the timer resolution. Hit maximum and keep it open the entire time you play the game. That's it. Enjoy. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and also remember me, the name is Rex. Here are some videos, might be useful for you, check them out if you want, else leave a like and bye.